So, it's time for another exciting installment of Wednesdays on the GQ Gang with me. What could be better? Chop, chop, edit, edit. Yo, so this week's topic is, hang on, I gotta read it because I'm all like quasi-stupid and forgot it already. So, first part, do you do any kind of community service or political activism for the LGBTQ community? No, I don't. I've never been a part of the greater LGBTQ community up until whenever. Fairly recently, like within the last a year, less than a year, really, more like uh, eight or nine months, I've moved into not fitting into just the cisgendered female role. I shouldn't even say that. That's not even right, because I never fit into the cis... I shouldn't even say that. That's not even right. I never fit into the cisgendered female role. Never. Never. Um, no, I, I'm not active in the LGBTQ community at all. I don't have any reason for that. Um, I'm not active in any community. You know, I, I don't know. It's kind of like religion to me. I never really... I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I just have never felt the need to belong to something bigger than me. And that sounds really, really, really self-centered. And maybe it is. But I've just been okay with who I am and where I am in life and what place I take. So I've just, I've never felt that need to be an activist, to be, to be active in any community. Um, during short periods, brief periods, I have been active in like animal rights communities and stuff like that. But it's always been short lived. I, I've just never been able to really commit myself to anything like that. And it's not that I don't believe in it. And don't get me wrong, I definitely believe in LGBTQ rights. Absolutely. I know I still polarize a lot of people with my first video about the whole feminism thing. But, you know, this channel's here to say what you think. And that's what I did. And I'm sorry that that insulted people, and I probably should have thrown an apology out there earlier, but this is it, you know. I'm sorry if I insulted anyone. It wasn't meant to offend anyone. Um, sometimes I don't have a very good filter, and that's just me. But there it is. So anyway, um, like I said, I, I totally support LGBTQ rights. Absolutely. It wouldn't matter. Even when I identified as a cisgender female, I supported LGBTQ rights. My ex-husband, ironically as it is, is a homosexual man, and he is in a civil union with another man, of course. Um, and I've always supported him, you know. I, I don't understand the whole argument between any of that crap. You know, it's it's just, it's bollocks to me. I mean, you love who you love, and it is what it is. But I'm getting off topic. So, no, I'm, I'm not active in anything. Maybe I should be. Maybe I'm, I'm a bad trans guy for not being, but I, I'm just not. Um, it's not, I don't want to say it's not important to me, because it is important to me. But it's just not, I don't take an active role in, in any kind of... Um, community service, or political activism. I just don't. At this point, I really don't. I, like I said, I'm more into me and making myself the person that I want to be, and I'm just focused on that, you know, uh, as opposed to trying to change anything in the greater world. So, you know, to those of you that are active, kudos, man. You're awesome. Great. Keep it up. Uh, but I'm sorry. I'm just not there. And, uh, 
that is what it is. Second part of the question, if somebody were new to the gender variant community and looking for ways to connect to others also in the community, how would you suggest they find others to get involved? Um, me, I found out about a couple groups through my therapist, which most of us who are gender variant or trans or whatever, I would assume, um, especially if you're going to pursue like hormone replacement hormone replacement therapy, you would uh, most likely have a therapist. I found a lot of good groups like that. Man, Google a group. You can find a group around you. Some folks need that. I didn't find that I needed that. For a while, I thought I was going to, and I was, I was very sketchy about the whole thing, and I looked into quite a few groups. I never actually went, and maybe it would have been good for me if I did, but I just didn't feel the need to. I mean, I'm okay with who I am. And so it, it just wasn't for me. But definitely I would say um, Google your area and any kind of groups like that. Check with your therapist. The, the HRT therapist and, and those that deal with gender issues, they always know of great groups. And um, if you're in the North Carolina area, I know of a few groups. If you haven't run across them yet, that are good groups to my understanding via my therapist. Like I said, I've never gone, so... Anyway, uh, that was not a very long video, I don't think, but, um, you know, it is what it is, and it's Wednesday, and I want to get that out there, and uh, once again, I'm going to take just another minute to apologize. I know I polarized some people with my first video. I'm sorry. I thought by throwing out there that that was my experience with the feminists that I had encountered, that that would kind of offset it. Apparently it didn't. I didn't mean to offend anybody. I'm sorry. If you're a feminist, hey, go for it. It's all good. I'm not, and I have my views, and, and I was just throwing those out there. I mean, there may be another trans man or gender variant man slash woman slash who knows that might even agree with my views, and that's why I put them out there. You know, um, if you don't agree with them, that's great. I mean, that's what the world is about. It's about us not agreeing. I mean, if we all agreed on everything, well, it would be a boring fucking place. But, you know, I just wanted to throw that out there. Um, I'm not, like, going to go burn down any feminist houses or anything. I mean, it's all good. You know, you believe what you believe. I believe what I believe. And, and we go from there. And that's what makes this world a great place. And, uh, wow. I mean, I guess that's pretty much about it. So, hey. Go Penguins.